I bought this $30 gaming console from Temu and in this video I'm gonna unbox and test it to see if it's worth it or if it's some kind of scam, so hit the like button and let's start. For those who don't know, Temu is new online store, kind of like AliExpress, so I logged in and found this wireless retro game console. It has pretty good reviews and cost only $30 with free shipping. I ordered it on May 14th and it was delivered by USPS on May 22nd, so it took 8 days. Not bad I think, by the way, it was my first time ordering from Temu. Came in this orange Temu bag, the box was a little wrinkled, I hope the content are intact, so let's unbox it. We have a game stick itself, very compact, it has has USB and micro USB ports on one side and HDMI on another. On the side it also has micro SD card tray and we have 64GB card pre-installed. Next we have a USB receiver for controllers, controllers themselves, very lightweight, made with black plastic with some rubber finish on joysticks and central buttons. They are surprisingly solid and don't smell of plastic. Next we have a HDMI extension, USB to micro USB cable and an instruction manual. I think for $30 that's a solid value. The Funny fact that none of the modern consoles come with two controllers, but these guys managed to do it here. Controllers are battery powered, each requires two AAA batteries. I'm gonna test it on my 1080p monitor first. Connecting everything is pretty easy, my monitor does not have USB like TV does, so I'm connecting this to a power adapter. The console started up right away and loaded a game list view, and the controller also worked instantly. On a demo page it claims to have 10,000 plus games, and yes, it has 15,000 games in the list. The menu is pretty simple, on top we have several tabs to navigate, in class you can sort games by console, in collect and history you can save and find games you played. By the way those two were in history on arrival. And in search you can search by game name. I ran some games and it is very nice. One thing I noticed was there is a slight input lag with the controller, but it takes around 3 minutes to get used to it. I connected it to 4K TV as well and it works pretty well. The image and sound quality are good, although the controller input lag is more annoying right now. I'm sitting far from the TV and sometimes it does not register button hits. Other than that I did not encounter any issues. Speaking of the game library, it has a lot of good games. Of course don't expect the complete PS1 game collection, but you will definitely find something you like there. More than that, from the user manual I found out that the microSD card can be expanded up to 128GB. So that raises the question, can we install more games on it? And the answer is yes. I found info from Internet enthusiasts on the web that have done this. So I think for the price of $30 this console is a great entertainment for a couple of evenings, maybe more. It is a great way to explore the early game industry stages and play some cult games. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Also if you like this check out more on this channel and I see you in the next videos.